Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well. We're here at Anime Expo on Saturday. It's wonderful, there's good vibes everywhere, and I'm here with an amazing cosplayer by the name of Jihatsu. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So, what are you dressed up as today? I am cosplaying Sashomu, but I'm cosplaying him in my version. So, dreadlocks, um, African fabrics, um, and yeah, Sashomu from Inuyasha, so. That is sick, awesome. All right, so whenever we like to interview cosplayers, we always want to know where they started from. So what is your cosplay origin story? Um, I'm based in Iowa. Uh, I Before I cosplayed, I was a videographer for cons. Oh. So I even made cosplay music videos at first. Yeah. And what got me into was like my cosplay friends. They said, yeah. hey, you should try it. You know, you talk about how you want to do it, but you just you act scared to do it. Yeah. So I said, okay, why not? So I cosplayed in 2011. Um, and I, my first cosplay was Kakashi from Naruto. Yeah. And I've been, you know, just, I was Midwest based mostly, but then I was like, it's time to branch out, see what other, yeah. site, what other, uh, what other states are, uh, you know, what their conventions are like. Yeah. So this is my third anime expo, and I'm guesting this year. But um, my origin started from then, but then my very first, like, original character that I made based off of, like, Yo, know, this like design right here yeah. uh, was Sephiroth, and I debuted him 2017 here at yeah. Anime Expo. So like the origin started from this, and I've been doing it, you know, this style of characters since then. So almost yeah. three years now. So. That's really cool. And you've done a lot of amazing work in three years. Yeah, yeah. it's incredible. And uh, out of all the years that you've been in cosplay, what would you say is one of your more favorite memories or moments? Whether it be uh, like a personal accomplishment, uh, where there was just something you couldn't get and then suddenly it clicked and you were able to overcome it, or some actual tangible moment that was like a really big victory for you? A, a really big moment for me, um, you know, for cosplay would be uh, this right now, being a guest here at the convention that I, you know, Love and yeah. like love coming to love coming to. Um, I literally when I gave, when they gave me my badge, I was sobbing. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, this is like so surreal. Like I can't believe you guys, you know, you know, having a kid from Iowa come out here. Yeah. And you know, I didn't know my type of cosplay would uh, even you know benefit them or yeah. like you know what should be shown for it. So yeah. that was a big moment for me. Another big moment. Um, I don't know if you know who Michael B. Jordan is. Yeah. Um, his trainer, he like shouted me out. You know, he said that you know because I'm a big. Uh, I'm a big gym freak. I'm trying to be like a personal trainer. Oh, so really? he, yeah, yeah. So he um, saw my work, but then he checked my cosplay out and shouted me out. And I'm like, that's another big deal to me. Like, yeah. someone that doesn't even know anything about this hobby, you know, you know, mentioning me, that's yeah. amazing. So just that, just, you know, meeting everybody too. That's the biggest thing when, like, yeah. when it comes to these conventions. So, you know. That's super cool. And then out of all the cosplays you've ever done, which one would you say uh, do you like like treasure the most? Whether it be because it was like very successful or just meant a lot to you? Uh, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. For sure, okay. yeah. Because um, that was my first big one. And he meant a lot because I grew up playing Final Fantasy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core, anything involving him, even like in the Kingdom Hearts games, yeah. you know, he's a pain in the butt to kill <laughs> or, you know, defeat in the games. Yeah. But, you know, I just love his aesthetic. You know, yeah. just like... Long hair, you know, the really pretty boy face, and just, you know, you know, just the badass villain. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please yeah. tell me you listened to the soundtrack of, like, uh, One Wing Angel while you were oh, making yeah, your absolutely. Okay. I would play, you know, that, hit the movies, or just, like, watch some, like, um, game gameplay while I'm, like, working on it. I Because uh, there was an art for it. Yeah. So, like, right when the art came out, I literally, like, just bought all, everything I needed, like, the fabric, the foam for the armor, so... I got right onto it. It took me about a week to finish up because it was a week before Anime Expo and yeah. I wanted to de uh, debut on there. So oh, wow. I treasure yeah. him the most because, you know, if it wasn't for that exact cosplay, I don't think I'd be where I'm at now. But just yeah. also, I, I really cherish the character and the series. So That's super cool. Oh, my gosh. And uh, out of all the cosplays they've ever done, which one would you say is, is the most difficult? That you put a lot of hours in or, like, yeah, the technique and all that? Yep. Um, Siegfried from Fate. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. that was about a $1,600 cosplay. Wow. Um, it, it was the most difficult. That took three. That took two other people to help get me into it because it's yeah. a lot of armor, um, the sewing for it, dyeing fabrics to get it to the right color. That was probably the most difficult one to get into. So rest in peace, it, though, because TSA decided to open my bags and not put it back when they checked it, so I lost that cosplay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that sucks. And then uh, a bit of a silly question. Out of all the fictional characters that exist, which one would you want to come to the real world to be your best friend for life? And why? 
best friend for life. Yeah. See, if you just said just best friend, I would have had it, but not for life part. And then I don't got to think about it. Like, oh, wait a second. Oh, hold on a second, because I don't know if I want to deal with that for the rest of my life. Um, I would say for a character in the series, I would... I don't know if you know who this character is. His name is Mineta from uh, My Hero Academia. He's uh, oh, a yeah, yeah, totally. little short, uh, pervy kid. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just think he, he's yeah. going to be... I think he's gonna be great when he gets older. Yeah. yeah, like this is gonna be his like phase now. Then he gets a grown man, and he's like hot. The so, job but you know, he's yeah. my said, You know, pervy guy. You know, he, he likes women. Yeah. And then you know his ability is like weird, but he's still passed. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm rooting for the underdog. So yeah, I say absolutely. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Um, it's Jihatsu. I'm like the very first one. When you type it in, it's yeah. J I H A T S U. And literally, I'm the first one. Like, if you see like Sephiroth, like with dreadlocks, that's me. Yeah. And I'm right on. Well, well, thank you again so much for taking time to answer a few of our questions. Yeah. And make sure you have a good weekend. And we're going to interview more people. Bye. Bye.